different cultures have different type of curses mythical stories like the curse of masuri the curse of kanagi and the curse of ham has been a synonym in the life of people from the past era till now there are certain things do's and don'ts when you do against the rules was set by the ancestors or the religious leader or religious monk or whatever it is if you against that rules and that become a curse of the individual people those are involved in it will say because of your against or because of overrule the taboo was given it may affect you and that's become curse for the individual well that affects may be similar their roots most definitely or not uh i won't forget this uh it happens a long time ago we was on the way back home i and mom was coming back home suddenly my my car stopped stopped and then we don't know why the car stopped and i don't know how it stopped there's no problem actually suddenly the temperature raised and then my car stopped i go down i tell my mom that uh, i'll go in search for water or something I look around I search for uh search for people la who can help us but then there's there was no people and then I decide to pergi ambil air go find air I mean cari air and then I I, I dapat air somehow I dapat air I was on the way back to the car i asked my mom to lock the car la before i go once i back to the car i saw my mom being sun inside the car i was like damn nervous don't know what to do i i like dah takut really takut tiba-tiba my mom she start to bangun realize and then she open i asked her what happened She said she don't know what happened why she pengsan she said she suddenly feel something and then start to pengsan and I'm very sure since that day uh my mom when your behavior some change la so in that case maybe when she was left alone in the car she might be possessed by some evil kind of things she was fainted because of the energy i mean uh, dark energy was hold by the entity that uh, uh, jinn or whatever is it so that she was fainted because it was she been possessed when the time she been possessed the dark energy will be having a big fight with the soul energy what we call this uh, what they call uh, this um, anti energy anti soul they having a big fight while when the big fight is happening there so surely the dark energy already overall overcome that's this uh, anti i mean this person's uh, soul power so in that reason she been fainted because cannot take that kind of energy every action has it opposite and equal reaction therefore definitely this situation has its own reason and purpose my neighbor's son come and play with my brother and then they both had few small quarrel like gado uh, kichi kichi 
Tiba-tiba my mak like uh, start to shout. Actually, I warn the neighbor Adela, but my mak like start to shout and tell that uh, you are bullying my son. You watch out lah. You'll kena, kena like kena jatuh like that. And then tiba-tiba je the boy run, takut run, and then he go jatuh, and I get wound. The darah semua keluar. I really like scared. Once my mak cakap like that, the thing happens. This curse, once attached to its host, is near impossible to remove. So when this entity, uh, this dark energy, they are. Uh, they are very well known about what is going to happen in our life, in human life, we call faith. But as a human, we don't know that. But for them, it's very easy to find out what is going to happen next, all that. So they just need a body because they don't have any body. Curses are not taken serious by most educated people in the world. Yet, they might retain their power and influence over those who believe in them. Since that uh, thing happened in my family, I strongly start to believe. It is very hard to say. My my ma cursed my pasu, my pasu, my uncle. My pasu is very. Uh, quite bad person one day they both had a big argument my mom get very angry she mara and sumpa him in front of my house my uncle was was like laughing at my ma and then he suddenly choked and then he started to cough and then he just lay lay down once i go check once i go see i really shocked that uh what my mark curse he it really happens my mark curse like you akan mati tero like that tengok tengok my uncle really mati in front of my house there is really terrific moment happens in my life and in our family there's another scenarios that we did not talk about it's like if they're assuming the bleeding is not a lot but they cough they have a bit of blood Maybe the sputum got some blood. The next thing he choked and then he died. Okay, that scenario we didn't discuss about. Under that situation, the bleeding volume is not so much. And that conditions that can die immediately is usually the blood clot in the lung. They call it esophageal uh, pulmonary embolism. Pulmonary embolism can cause sudden death. They can be potentially fatal. And usually it's a blood clot that comes from somewhere, they eventually end up going to the lung. They got stuck in the lung vessels. They cause this part of the lung to die off. And people can die just like that. A few years back, my mom passed away. Uh, she was she passed away while she slept. Uh, it was really very hard. We can't adopt it. We know that she really a good person, but we don't understand why. Why whatever she curse, everything happens. We love our mom. We miss her so much. So that curse may take place, may affect, may given any kind of effect in the particular person. On one hand. We know that everything happens for a reason and some don't. On the other hand, this issue such as cursing and the other dark side also 
play a role on some unexplainable situations determine it yourself whether they are produced by an external force or it's just a mere coincidence